in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make strawberry cake. To get started, you'll be needing six eggs. Then we'll be adding in one cup of oil and one cup of milk. Then add in one cup of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. So here we have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and two teaspoons of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Mix everything together until it's nice and combined. Now, so we're gonna be sifting our dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. After you mix it all together, add in half cup of strawberry preserves. Next, I'm going to be adding in a pinch of pink for color. This is just optional. I just want my cake to have a nice vibrant pink. Now I'm gonna be buttering my cake pans. I have two cake pans that I'm gonna be dividing the batter into. If you want, you could make three layers or four, but I like mine to have two thick layers. After I'm done buttering my pans, I'm gonna be dusting my pans with some all-purpose flour. I'm done dusting, I'm going to be dividing my batter into two cake pans. Now bake your cakes at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. When you poke a toothpick, it should come out clean. To get started with the frosting, we'll be needing one cup of heavy whipping milk and half cup of sugar. Have 
every whipping meal turns creamy and soft, add in one stick of cream cheese. After you're done mixing with a spatula, I recommend blending it with a hand mixer when everything is nicely combined. Now trim out the extras of the cake. And now time to add frosting. So I'm going to be adding in like a little bit of frosting to the first layer of my cake. And adding in a little bit of the strawberry preserves, it gets the nice strawberry flavor that we want. Now put the top layer and apply frosting. Time for the fondant. So here are some fondant. You could add more fondant based on your height and the width of your cake so i'm just gonna knead my fondant until it's soft and stretchy now i'm gonna use a rolling pin to stretch my dough out Now I'm going to be taking my fondant and putting it on the cake. Make sure the surface of the cake is smooth so the fondant can stick and it will look really nice and smooth after. Trim out the edges with a pizza cutter. Now smoothen the fondant with the spatula. This is how we make a perfect strawberry fondant cake for our birthdays or special occasions. <laughs> 